Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gosling Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti, and before we take a look at this 10 race card, I want to wish you and your family and all your friends a very happy and prosperous New Year's. We have 10 races, I mentioned, beautiful day here in South Florida. Let's take uh, a look at those track and weather conditions with our buddy, Pete Aiello. Beautiful day for horse racing to kick off the new year here in South Florida. Sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 70s, low humidity, a fast main track, and a firm turf course. First of the day over the firm turf course and a mile and a 16th. Scratch the three gunmen, a field of nine. The favorite was the 10, Maverick Kitten. Racing in 2020. Walk-up music gets the first call with All Gorilla moving to him on the outside in second and Fake Muse taking stronghold. He's down toward the inside third. Away fourth is Magic Street, then Maverick Kitten on the outside. A length and a half in front of Paintville, who's toward the rail. Three wide and bad beat Brian from between horses, Alejandro's team, and the early trailer is Smirk. In the charge to the first turn, All Gorilla off the lead now by three. Up into second is walk-up music toward the inside. Fake Muse has just lost third to newcomer Magic Street, who's now third. In the two-path while racing in fifth is Maverick Kitten, well-situated at this stage, a length and a half in front of Paintsville. Then bad beat Brian three wide, Alejandro's team toward the rail. And in no hurry early, Smirk is last of the nine behind an opening quarter of 23 seconds flat. Down the back stretch they go at a big price, all gorilla. And jockey Sylvia Zapico on top by two and a half. Racing in second, that's Magic Street. Rather, walk-up music is second. Magic Street is third. Maverick Kitten on the outside, fourth with Fake Muse toward the rail, fifth. Moving up to be sixth is Bad Beat Brian. Paintsville shuffled to seventh. Smirk is out of last. He's now eighth and dropping to last Alejandro's team. 47-1 and one for the opening half mile as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Walk-up music starts to reel in all gorilla. Four wide Maverick Kitten, three wide Magic Street. Fake Muse is at the rail in range. Three better than Smirk and Bad Beat Brian with a quarter of a mile left to go. All gorilla tries to hold him off here. Off the turn on top by two and a half. Second is walk-up music. Third is Magic Street. Maverick Kitten didn't kick on. There's an eighth of a mile to go and all gorilla is still the target. Walk-up music toward the inside and back to third Magic Street. But through it all, it's all Gorilla at 24 to 1. Second walk up music, third Magic Street, then fake Muse and Maverick Kitten in 142 flat. We start the new year off with a big upset as number nine, All Gorilla, took a licking and kept on ticking under jockey Sylvia Zapico. The son of algorithms goes gate to wire at better than 20 to 1, winning for Jaime Mejia in his thoroughbred champion training center. All Gorilla holds off walk up music to start the day. Let's go to the second race, the start of the yearly pick four, maiden claimers of the Philly and Mare variety, in for 12,500. Santiago Gonzalez rides the one, Queen Cantharos. The favorites included the eight, Bulldat, and the 10, Dixieland Humor. And uh, they're up. Dixieland Humor, one of the first to break the line. Awkward at the back is Holly Hill. Moving up to take the lead is Evelia. It's Evelia, the newcomer, in front by a length and a quarter. Queen Cantharos is there second. Varsovia is now third. Snake and Shake is away racing in fourth, outside in Trini Sunset fifth. Then comes Bull Grat, Dower Bull Dat toward the inside. Two and a half clear of up to Daisy Dew. Dixieland Humor, who broke with the leaders, is beaten for speed. And the two at the back, Moon over Maori and Holly Hill. 22 and 4 for the opening quarter. Down inside, Queen Cantharos tries to get to the leader, Evelia. Racing in third, Varsovia. Bulldat moving sharply to the leader. He's now fourth. Back to fifth, and Snack and uh, Snake and Shake, who's driven by size and not really responding, as this leader's the target here. Evelia traveling pretty well off the turn in front. The rail is saved by Gonzalez on Queen Cantharos, and Queen Cantharos is now on to challenge. Trying to run home from the back is Dixieland Humor with less than a quarter of a mile to go. It's long shot. Queen, Cantharos on top by two and a half. Dixieland Humor taking up the chase on the outside. Dixieland Humor trying to get to the leader, Queen Cantharos. Queen Cantharos close to home with the lead. Dixieland Humor is out of time. Upset is the, and the first upset in the second. Queen Cantharos, a big number winner. Second, Dixieland Humor in 112 and two. Upset winner to start the first, and upset winner in the second as the early pick four begins with a splash as number one, Queen Cantharos. With a pickup ride, Santiago Gonzalez gets the daughter of Cantharos to rate kindly inside, and she went on to win it. Owned by Sherry Racing and trained by Amzadali Jahaludi, it's Queen Cantharos and a big number to start the early pick four, and we'll be right back.
Back now for the third race, a one-mile event over the turf. Starter allowance, optional claiming horses. Scratch the nine, Pango. It's a field of eight. Off-time favorites included five gins and tins and six, King Orb. And they're off. Toward the inside, Alien Invasion, one of the first to get underway, could be moved to challenge. Gins and Tins away in the top flight. Very wide on the first turn will be Billy Big. Down inside, Patty Odini and Small Hope. They're trying for the same spot, and Patty Odini's going to shuffle Small Hope back a touch. The two at the back are King Orb and Crown to the Gold. And the run around the first turn, Alien Invasion has the lead of a length and a quarter. Down inside, it's a headstrong, Patty Odini, fighting the rider to try to get into the clear. Gins and Tins posted three wide. Now very rank as could be from fourth. In fact, he just looked like he bobbled a touch. A length better than a rail running small hope. Billy Big is on his outside, two better than King Orb, and crowned to the gold is last. The opening quarter was 24 and 1 as they head down the backstretch. Up front, Alien Invasion. With no pace pressure, he leads by almost two. Patty Odini is settled, but he's now back to fourth as Sectic in over second gins and tins. Three wide in the clear and could be. A gap of four to Small Hope ahead of King Orb. That's all for Billy Big. And five to the trailer, crowned to the gold. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn through a 47 second half mile. Alien Invasion is still fresh and still in front. He leads by almost two. Could be is up on the outside of Patty Odini. Battling for second, trying to run home as King Orb. He's all the way up into a fourth position now as Gins and Tins is between horses, but Alien Invasion still there, and Alien Invasion has been left alone a long ways. Now five on top. King Orb going to try to get him late toward the inside and Patty Odini, but they're battling for minor spoils here as Alien Invasion and Edgar Zayas go gate to wire. King Orb second, Patty Odini third, Small Hope ran fourth. Nice job of rating here by Edgar Zayas as number one alien invasion was left alone up front. He hadn't had that luxury in a couple of races, and it certainly made the difference as he went all the way for Sansa Racing Stable and trainer Enrique Landiata. Alien invasion handled by Edgar Zayas, a 5-2 winner of race number three. We go to the fourth race now, six furlongs the trip. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250. Scratch to two, money come, a field of six. The favorites included three Cabre and seven Free Flame. And they're off. The last two in were the first two out as Y Trust is heading off for the early lead. Free Flame away in second. Cabre now splits horses to take third. Taylor's initiation is at the inside, working ahead of Bull Gratz and Revolving Star is last. Off the claim, the leader is Y Trust by a length and a half over Cabre in second. Taylor's initiation moving through for Mitchell third at the inside. Followed fourth by an outside running free flame. Then it's a gap of a length and a half to Bull Gratz and long shot revolving star trails. 22 and three for the opening quarter. There's three furlongs left to go. Y Trust sharp so far with a length and a half lead. Up on the outside, Cabre is there second. These two quicken up. They've put on four lengths on Taylor's initiation, who's back to third. Free Flames just not firing. He's passed outside by Bull Gratz with a quarter of a mile left to go. Cabre up to take over the lead from Y Trust. Taylor's initiation tries to run with the top duo through a 45 and three half mile. Off the turn in the stretch drive, it's now Cabre who kicks clear to a four length lead. On the inside, Y Trust fights to hold second on the outside in Taylor's initiation, but at three to two, it's an erratic Cabre. Cabre and Christian Torres will win, and they'll win easy by five in the end. Up for second, Taylor's initiation ahead of Y Trust third. Revolving Star, finish fourth. Number three, Cabre takes care of business in easy fashion here today, winning easy in the end under jockey Christian Torres for trainer Gustavo Delgado and the OGMA Investments. Favorite gets home in the fourth, Cabre beats Y Trust, who had to settle for third as Bull Gratz and Taylor's initiation were involved late. Taylor's initiation with the place and why trust third. We go to the fifth race, the start of the Rainbow Six. Over a million and a half dollars wagered in the Rainbow Six today with maiden claimers on turf to kick off the sequence. A field of 10 signed on. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off to a clean and level beginning. From the outside, Gallant Jack and Trini Flower, the first two to get underway. They're both looking to cross over. Moving at the inside, Terrible Terra with Glorious Gal at the rail. Log jam for the early lead, a couple in tight and sent very wide to that first turn. Floated out past the crown of the course was Terrible Terra as she's now dropped back to last. 
Up front, it's Glorious Gal holding rail position in a narrow lead. On her outside, and Trini Flower from second. A keen third is Gallet Jack. Fourth at the inside is the Big Boss Lady. Then B Wings in the two path, followed by Maricopa out wide. Lucky to have my Vicky in the three path. Moving out the rail, that's Pukalani. As the top horses are separated by no more than four lengths, the two at the back are Terrible Terra and Buddy Princess. They make their way to the half mile point and toward the rail. It's Glorious Gal and Irad Ortiz Jr. with a narrow lead. Trini Flower keeps the pressure on second. Gallet Jack a three wide third. Big Boss Lady needs some place to go while fourth trying to save the rail spot. Then lucky to have my Vicky out wide on the course in Maricopa. Pukalani is at the rail trying to run home or Bunny Princess and B Wings with at the back of the field terrible Terra as they run for home. 47 and three for the opening half mile. Glorious Gal has taken pace pressure every step, but she's still the target. Sliding into the clear. Here's the big boss lady, the chief challenger, while second, Maricopa is third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Glorious Gal still finding on a two length lead. Big boss lady is second, Maricopa is third, then Bunny Princess and Pukalani. But through it all, Glorious Gal had something in the tank and she went all the way. Big boss lady is second, Bunny Princess nails Maricopa for third, Pukalani finished fifth. Betters really came for number one glorious gal in the wagering market. She was six to one on the morning line, but took all the play by our astute wagering fans, and she got the job done in Kate Tawire fashion. She was really much the best as she took pace pressure every step under Irad Ortiz Jr. She gets the maiden diploma for Joe Orsino and owner and breeder Charles Matzis. Glorious gal, a popular way to start today's Rainbow Six. Back now for race number six on the program, the start of today's late pick five. Claimers in for 12,500. A field of seven. The favorites included the four, Sue's Monster Baby, and number one, Probably Grace. And they're off. Probably Grace was a step slow to get going. From the far outside, it's Golden Knoll who shows first and looks to cross over. Secret Miss is down at the inside and trying to hold her ground toward the fence. Sue's Monster Baby is racing between horses and Onesie's Dream is with her. Then it's a length and a half to Shaw Day, a gap of another five lengths. The two at the back, Fiamma Mama and probably Grace. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn with Golden Knoll in front by a length on the outside. Three wide, Sue's Monster Baby is now second. Secret Miss is third, Fiamma Mama is racing from fourth. Then Shaw Day, five clear of Onesie's Dream and probably Probably Grace. Past the 5 16th. Golden Knoll still the target. Sue's Monster Baby chasing hard while second. Secret Miss has horse. No place to prove it. Fiamma Mama is next. Trying to run home from the back is probably Grace with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Up front, it's Golden Knoll, but her strides are shortening. Secret Miss trying to thread the needle on the inside. Sue's Monster Baby on the outside. And probably Grace is on late from a way back. Inside the final eighth of a mile and still Golden Knoll the target. Probably Grace lifting up on the outside. This is going to get close. Golden Knoll close to home, Golden Knoll. Golden Knoll and Paco went all the way. Probably Grace ran out of racetrack with Sue's Monster Baby third, Secret Miss fourth, and 105 and two. Number one, Probably Grace made up a ton of ground from behind, but not enough ground to get the victory as number seven, Golden Knoll, registers an 11 to one surprise going gate to wire under Paco Lopez, for trainer Antonio Sano and owner's Cloudline Lumoni. Golden Knoll beats Probably Grace and Sue's Monster Baby Start today's late pick five. Let's go to the seventh race, the start of the late pick four. Nine furlongs on turf at a mile and an eighth. Allowance horses scratch the 13 K-Mac, a field of 12. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. 
For the inside, Golden Decision breaks the line well from the far outside. LaHinch looking to get over. In between that duo was discovered into the top flight. Away racing fourth is I'm the captain now. In tight next is Resident Liberal, followed by Gauguin. It's a half length to King of Spades. Wide on the course and Duke de Calais. He's about five lengths off the early go. Mantra is next, and Splitting Horses is Shore Magic third last. The two at the back go poke the bear and the mighty judge. And the charge around the first turn, Discovered has the lady. Leads by a length and a half. Golden Decision is there, second, LaHinch on the outside, third. Back to fourth and racing four lengths off the lead as I'm the captain now. Resident Liberal is down toward the rail. Gauguin is mid-flight early. He's about five and a half, maybe six lengths off the lead. Down at the inside goes King of Spades, followed by Duke de Calais. He's the gray, and he's about seven lengths off the pace setter, racing a length and a half in front of the team of the Mighty Judge and Shore Magic. Mantras toward the inside, and the trailer go poke the bear. The opening quarter went in 24 and 4. The half mile was 49 and 3 as they approach half a mile from home. It's discovered the target. We're seeing in second golden decision. Up on the outside, I'm the captain now. Let go four wide for a run. Three wide and right there is La Hinch. Trying to move up from the inside is Gauguin. He's now moving between horses at the inside and only two lengths off the lead resident liberal. They stack and pack around the turn. Duke de Calais is next together with King of Spades trying to run home as Mantra. Widening them the outside is Shore Magic and then go poke the bear. Who do you like here? Where do you look here is Gauguin. Is now let go on the outside of Golden Decision to take the lead. Shaking free is King of Spades. Mantra's on late. And from last, here's Go Poke the Bear. Final eighth of a mile. Go Poke the Bear finishing up well. Tries to get Gauguin. Go Poke the Bear from last to first. Toe in. Go Poke the Bear nails the second horse king of spades in the final yards. Gauguin was right there. Then Shore Magic in 149 flat. Number six, Go Poke the Bear is the last to first winner to start today's late pick four. And the better news is if you liked him, you got double the morning line. He was 5-1 to one on the morning line. He went off at 10-1, to one, and he was handled perfectly by Paco Lopez, who gets a double on the card. This one for Mike Maker and owners Mad Dog Racing and Paradise Farms. 8, King of Spades, the morning line favorite, sent off at 17-1, to one, but he ran second in a great drive. Let's go to the eighth race and the start of the late pick three. Six furlongs the journey. Starter allowance optional claiming horses. Scratch the seven, Harry He. A field of six. Favorites included four, Travi Boy. And five, Why Are You Awesome? And they're off. Good start for Why Are You Awesome with Travi Boy moving up. Far outside, fast passes in no hurry early with Starship Reina moving out the rail. Out the back door early, he's smoking hot in Bordini. They head down the back stretch. Travi Boy has the lead, but he's not getting an easy time of it as Why Are You Awesome keeps the pressure on second. Starship Reina is off the speed while racing in third. A length and a half in front of Bordini in the orange colors, now fourth. Five clear of He's Smoking Hot and Fast Pass drops back to last. He'll make a late run behind a quarter of 22 and three. Around the far turn they go. Travi Boy on the inside. Why Are You Awesome looms up alongside. Starship Reina tries to tip and roll while third, two better than Bordini. Then it's a gap of another five to fast. Fast pass and dropping anchor, he's smoking hot. They run to the top of the stretch. On the outside, Why Are You Awesome is now up to challenge Travi Boy for the top. Back to third, Starship Reina, then Bordini. High gear now for the outside horse. Fast pass with seven lengths to raise and three sixteenths to raise it. But here he comes. Fast pass is rolling down the center. Here's fast pass from way out of it. In front and going away. Good battle for second. Fast pass, a clear winner. Bordini is in a photo for second that I think he wins over Travi Boy third. Then Why Are You Awesome? Number four, Travi Boy got no breather up front as Why Are You Awesome kept the pressure on every step of the way. And Fast Pass loved all of that as he sat well back early but rolled down the stretch. He's a son of successful appeal and he was successful today for Christian Torres a riding double. Paradise Farms for their second win of the day. This one owned in partnership by Walder Racing and trained by Peter Walder. Fast Pass going away. Time for a commercial break. The Late Daily Double is next. Don't go away. Back now for race number nine on the program. First half of the late daily double on turf at a mile on the 16th. Allowance horses of the Philly and Mare variety. Scratch the alternates 13 through 16. Full field of 12 and a wide open betting race. 
And they're off. Look to be a level beginning. Looking for a leader from between horses, Shikaka is forwardly placed early with Unchained now moving through at the inside. Outside of these top duo is a Bullient who's now tugging her way up to challenge and Clairvoyance away in the top flight. Out wide and Fritzy who's trying to get over, widest of all is I Am Magical in the charge to the first turn. Headstrong between horses is smooth with a kick on her outside Zababa, widest of all in Big Tina. She's dropped better than four lengths behind. Saving ground is Barika. She's in no hurry early. The two at the back, Indicia and Soul Spirit. In the charge around the first turn, they went 23 seconds to the opening quarter, and a bullion has the lead a length and a half. On the outside, and Fritzy now second toward the rail, Unchained is third. I Am Magical is a joint fourth alongside Chikaka. Then comes the teammates of Zani inside, a clairvoyance, and on the outside, smooth with a kick. Length and a half to Zababa, racing ahead of Big Tina. Barika is still unhurried at this stage, and the two at the back remain Soul Spirit and Indicia. 46 and 3 for the opening half mile. So a bullion was allowed to strut her stuff in the second quarter by Nick Juarez and bumps the margin to six lengths. Unchained is now in chase mode, second toward the inside. Chikaka just claimed third. Back to fourth, and I am magical while a bit wide. Fritzy is dropping back. Clairvoyance begins the hunt racing room. Smooth with a kick is wide. Zababa searching for racetrack, and then Big Tina after three quarters and one ten and two. Off the turn and the stretch drive. A bullion is still well clear out here. Down the center and smooth with a kick up the inside and clairvoyance then between horses and Zababa Barika's on late but it looks like it might be too late to catch a bullion a bullion is in front and a bullion and Nick Juarez through the knockout punch around the far turn to win by three second smooth with a the kick then Zababa and clairvoyance in 140 and three And runners away. From the center, Osaka girl gets the first call, but La Babia moving over from the top shelf and up to challenge for the top. Away racing a joint third is Lucky Polly alongside Happy B, who splits horses. At the inside, it's Misadventure and the two-path Jess Smokins in very tight. Had to slam on the brakes, and that did choose to be happy no favors as Mrs. S got around both of them. Dropping over to the inside is Lipstick, Lies, and Lovers out wide and Miss Cheney. Splitting horses is Stan Tall second last in the early trailer, looking to get lucky. Around the first turn they go through the opening quarter of 23 and 2. Long shot La Babia has the lead three parts of a length. Happy B in the two path under Johnny V from second. Osaka girl backs off to pocket up third. Outside and Lucky Polly with her. Then back it's to Jess Smokin who's an early fifth. Mrs. S is next and Miss Adventure is at the rail. Followed by Miss Cheney then from between choose to be happy. Along the inside and Lipstick lies and lovers third last. Stan Tall second last and still at the back is looking to get lucky. That's the 12 of them through a 48 and four half mile. They move now to the far turn. La Babia is still the target. A bit closer second is Happy B down at the inside and Osaka girl three wide Lucky Polly. Mrs. S is underway, but she has to cover ground four wide on the outside. Looking for room next is Miss Adventure at the inside of Just Smokin. A gap of two to an on rushing lipstick lies and lovers, and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 113 and three. Sayas and La Babia turn first into the clear Osaka girl from the outside and Happy B. Stan side and Mrs. S. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Osaka girl loose and trying to catch La Babia up front. Now Osaka girl strides forward under Irad Ortiz Jr. And she's the winner. Osaka girl for Ammerman racing by two in the end. Second is La Babia. Third is Mrs. S. Close after that between Happy B and looking to get lucky in 142 and one. And that wraps up the Wednesday action, the first start of the new decade. We're right back here on Thursday with a 10-race card, first race post, 12.35 p.m. Boy, it's good to be at Gusty Park. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me. 
tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. 